Hi. In this video, we're going to see how to add a GL account code to your SAP chart of accounts. This is something that doesn't happen frequently in organizations and typically requires uh, approval by whoever's in charge of the ERP in the controller's office generally. Uh, and can be a political issue uh, as most companies want to keep their ERP structure as simple and efficient as possible. But there are those times when the need does arise. So to get there in SAP, we can expand the accounting folder, financial accounting, general ledger. We're going to go down to master records, GL accounts, individual processing, and then centrally. Again, you can see the T code for this is FS00, which we can also type in in the transaction box up here. All right, so we go there and we now see that we can enter uh, or edit uh, an existing account. So I can look up an existing account here. And let's say I want to look in my chart of accounts, which is GL27, yours would be whatever your company number is, GL whatever your number is. And then I can see, okay, here, here's my bank account. And I can open it up and see the uh, details for that when I press enter. Uh, oh, uh, I also need to enter my company code. So that's for US27. And I can see the details. It's a balance sheet account, uh, liquid assets. I've got the short text and the long text. In this case, they're the same. I've got other screens of data. So I've got my tabs here. It's uh, this company posts in US dollars for this account and all the way across. So I can see the information available and I could key this in manually to determine what I want to uh, create. All right. So that's one way to do it. Another way, if I get back into the screen. So let's say I want to create a new account for posting journal entries to a retained earnings account. So I can actually type in that new account number here. And why would I need to key in one? Well, the retained earnings account that's already in the chart of accounts is reserved. It is a reserved account that uh, SAP uses to close the income statement when we close the books. So I can't actually post journal entry activity to that particular account. So this is a control account that we would not want to post to. But what we can do is we can create an account near that control retained earnings account in the chart of accounts and give ourselves the permission to post to it just for the purpose of these exercises we're working on. So that's what we're going to do here. Now I'm creating account 330-100 for company code US27. Now I could then continue to make all my selections here and say what kind of account it is, account group, short text, long text, etc. But I also have the ability to copy it from another company. And that's what I'm going to do here. We actually have a template company set up in our case connection here. So when I click with template, I can see I can bring in, I can basically copy this new account from an existing account. So I'll copy it from that existing account, which is the exact same account number that I'm creating, but I'm going to copy it from our template company, which happens to be US00. So in this case, I'm not using my company number. I'm using this specific company number, company code US00. So when I click OK there, it brings in all of my information for that new retained earnings account, which is a direct posting account, basically acknowledging that we can post journal entries directly to this account rather than it being a control account that's managed by SAP. And again, you can see the currency, sort key, and additional fields. So once I've done that, I've got all the information I need for this account. I can then go ahead and save the account. And I see I get my data saved message down here in the status bar. And at that point, I now have my account available. So if I go look 
at the chart of accounts for my company. I'll scroll down and see I now have, oh, I went right past it. I now have my account 330-100 retained earnings direct quote. All right, so that's all there is to adding a new account to SAP. Let's see what we'd like to do next.